Hey all, Bill Bachman here with another little drumworkout.com blog slash lesson slash deep thoughts. All right, brought to you with a little bit of help from my friends at Vic Firth. So today's blog slash lesson slash deep thought, it's all about health and wellness. So I ended up on the Percussive Arts Society's health and wellness committee after some of those guys saw a lot of my posts on uh, my Facebook page official Bill Bachman and that kind of thing about stretching and heating pads and icing and all these things people do for their hands for tendonitis. And you can only fix your car with so much duct tape, so why not just fix the problem instead of dealing with the symptoms for the rest of your drumming days. So I'm a big believer in that and I'll talk a little bit more about that in the end. But two things I want to talk about are things that we just talked about at the PAS the PASIC, the convention, we just did a little health and wellness committee round table panel discussion, whatever, on uh, you know a bunch of different health and wellness topics. So the main two I want to talk about are warming up and stretching. All right, so here we go. Warming up. I hate warming up because if I'm warming up, ooh, I'm warming up, and I may just go to some brainless regular thing that I do, which is good, but just playing, it's like, okay, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, warm up, how, how does it feel, no, 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 not yet. And it's kind of like watching paint dry and getting ticked off that it doesn't dry faster, right? So, what I've found is that instead of warming up in the normal sense, I just learned something new. So if there's a rudiment or a sticking pattern that I don't really know, I can play it slowly, and I can't go fast because I don't know it well enough. And you can't stress out any muscles because you can't play fast. And chances are, whatever you're working out has multiple hand motions, so you're going to be working out different muscles. So, after about 10 minutes of learning something new and kind of enjoying the process, next thing you know, oh, my hands are warm, look at that. All right, fascinating. So, that's definitely when you're, you know, by yourself as an individual warming up. Learn something new, you'll get warmer, faster, and learn something. Okay, now the second one is stretching. So this is another thing where a lot of people deal with a symptom and I'm going to throw it out there. If you feel the need to stretch, maybe you've already done something wrong. Hmm. Okay. Now, stretching can only be a good thing. If you love to stretch, by all means, please keep doing it. And there you go. But what I've found is that if I ease into it by warming up, by learning something, my hands feel great, and then next thing you know, I can just blaze and go nuts, and my hands feel great, all right? So, the only times I feel like I need to stretch is when I played way too much, way too soon, with way inadequate warm-up. So sometimes I'm in the clinic, and it's a rushed situation where, you know, airplane, car ride, you're at the place, you're doing get a banner set up, get the next thing you know, like, oh, go! It's like, oh boy. And so you bust out a little bit of fireworks without adequate warm up. And I feel this, my forearms just kind of tight. My body's complaining. If your body's complaining, you're doing something wrong to it. All right? So the only time I need to stretch is when I haven't warmed up. So if you warm up properly, you probably won't need to stretch. Okay? But again, stretching is only a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but just something to food for thought, right? This is Deep Thoughts with Bill Day right here. Excellent. Now, Earlier I was talking about tendonitis and, you know, carpal tunnel, all these drummer injuries and hand pain. I don't believe in any of it. If you have any of that going on, that simply means you're doing something wrong. So I've had a lot of people come to me for Skype lessons because, well, I got this tendonitis and my hands just hurt and I'm cramping up and, well, play something. And then I play something, it's like, oh, okay, it's because of that right there. Boom. You see how you're doing that? You're stressing that out. If you change this to blah, blah, blah. suddenly, oh, you know, the clouds part and everything's good. And so by modifying the technique from the ground up, next thing you know, there's zero pain, zero injuries, and they can drum all day long better, right? So food for thought on that. So my book stick technique will certainly help and the extreme hands makeover here on drumworkout.com or click to it, check it out. Those things really build it from the ground up in a way where you're not gonna hit walls technically and you're not gonna get any pain if you're doing everything just the right way. So stuff to think about, stuff to check out, all right? 
So warm up by learning something so it happens quickly and you're better off for it. And then you won't need to stretch. Although, go ahead and stretch if you want to. Again, it's not a bad thing. Don't want to get in trouble. All right, excellent. That's my deep thought slash blog slash lesson. Sure, for the day. Hope you dig it and hope to see you down the road sometime. All right, that's it.